So I've been explaining in my video that it's one side of a light hole is a black hole and you're living on the E creation discourse CD and every compass is pointing to the very center of the dish where the astral jet comes shooting out that's the Aurora Borealis. This is God. That's why if you look up you'll see that this is like the memory of the earth. This is like the Akashic Record. This is the goddess. This is the why women do hula hooping and body dancing. It's it's the great spirit. And every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. There's no way to screw it up. They rub this shit in your face in videos and movies. And every year you sit up your Christmas tree. And it's pointing to where Jesus the Son places his light into the hole. And you see he's on a cross. That's the unfolded cube which is showing you. Everything is right there hiding in plain sight. It's one side of a light hole. It's a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. That's called the Aurora Borealis. That's, that is God. That is the Earth's memory. The Earth's spirit. There's no way to fuck it up. The Earth is flat. It's the division symbol. The sun above is going round and round and round bringing the seasons. And the sun below is fixed. And it's 800 nautical miles in diameter so that the green astral jet can come shooting out, hit the parabolic mirror, and shower down on you. There's no way to fuck this up. So people say, oh, can I make this any easier for you to understand? It's a division symbol. There's no way to fuck it up. The sun above and the sun below have a hole that they transfer the information and light through. It's just that simple. We need to get to the other side of the fence through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. Valley, the land of milk and honey. See the pole? It sits right over the polar risk. It shoots out the aurora borealis. And when people throw money out in the strip shows, it represents the pole and the green astral coming down. When the money rains down, that's what that represents. And people think that that's their idea when they're in the strip club doing that. You have to understand that everything is a design. And X marks the spot. That's right. I'm at Grim Nasty TV. And I'm telling you, this guy, he's doing good work. I appreciate you, Grim Nasty, my blood brother. See this X marks the spot, the candy cane. He's explaining all this to you. Moving on up to the deluxe apartment in the sky. This is the Hidden Valley Ranch crater right there. The Aurora Borealis is shooting out. And you see the four, all the entrance points where the rivers are. The four rivers. Okay, this is the real deal, people. Every compass is pointing right there. You don't have to like it, but it is this simple. And uh, that's where we're headed. I have the Spear of Destiny. And do uh, you think that's an accident? No, it's not. We're going to be allowed in. It's just that simple. The seas are going to part for us because this shit turns out to be real. Get over to Grim Nasty TV immediately. I'm over here at Matthew Love's channel and let me tell you something. He's mixed up some of my videos and made uh, a lot of sense. And it, it's clear that uh, this guy, Matthew Love, has the Spear of Destiny. And you need to check out his channel. All you have to do is type in blood over intent and scroll down and uh, you'll see Matthew Love channel. You really got to check out this, the work that he does. He does amazing stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's like watching Devin, but a whole new twist to it. And there's a lot of people like Grim Nasty. I saw Daniel V making some good videos. Um, Joseph Newhouse is making some good videos. You guys got to get out and check out these channels. Just go to Blood Over Intent. Scroll down. Start up Matthew Love. If I came alive in under three years, I'd become... Okay, this is... Like, you got to check this out. So, welcome to the real world. After you spill your blood over your intent, you come alive. I know I'm alive. You're lost at sea until your blood is beside my own. It's clear. Your country set up a corporation in your name. You're a dead corpse. Lost at sea. You're a monster by legal definition. You have no right to any land because you're lost at sea. Until your blood is beside my own, the devil has your soul in the Vatican. Because you're dead. It's your footprint. It's in the fucking Davy Jones locker. There's no way to fucking escape it. Alright? When you take the red pill, that's you writing out on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. For the benefit of all. Spill your fucking blood on it. Place your blood right beside my own published blood over intent. Title blood over intent. Tag it blood over intent. Description blood over intent. It's simple. And the hologram will break down for you, and then you'll start creating. You'll realize you're alive, and that this shit is fucking real. Alright, this is some simple shit, people. It, it's, you take the red pill, 
by writing it on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Keep it simple, just like that. Okay, and then all the forces of the universe get behind you. I'm telling you, when I look at the sun and I speak my intent, I'm telling you the sun is Jesus. Okay, and uh, that's what's programming me. Because it's one side of a light hole's a black hole. You're in the fucking matrix for real. The ethernet, the internet, it's all connected. The green astral light is shooting out across the fucking sky. And we can't see it because it's, it's just thinned out. But I'm telling you, it's like the matrix code trickling down the screen in the beginning of the movie. So... Welcome to the real world, people. Once you spill your blood over your intent, you will see. If I came alive in under three years, I become fucking, like, I'm bent, set on getting us all eternal life. That's just, I, I set out to set out heaven on earth. I didn't know anything about the compass. I was on a ball floating through space as a fucking accident. And now I have the spear of destiny. I'm going to scream this out from the top of my lungs because you won't. Because I'm not a fucking pussy. Okay? And I'll wear my fucking t-shirts and I'll sell them with fucking pride. Because you know what? I'm not a fucking pussy like you. I know where the fucking Holy Grail is, and we're going to be there before we're dead. Well, at least I know I'm going to be there, because I spilt my fucking blood on it, okay? And uh, I know at least 144,000 other living beings, like your DNA code, 4114, or, I'm sorry, it's, it's D is the fourth letter, N is the 14th letter, A is the first letter. What I'm saying is that these numbers are built into reality for a reason. They're leading you to real life. You're not, you're not supposed to be dead and lost at sea right now, but you are. And I'm alive. And I'm going to fucking take over the fucking world whether you like it or not. And I'm not Stephen Christ. I am the fucking Antichrist himself in the flesh telling you that Jesus is the Son and the Son is conscious. And until you look at the Son and speak your intent, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I might carry my intent to fruition. Until you do that, you're a slave. You work for worthless paperback by your own stupidity. I sit here from the comfort of home making videos. Okay? That's what I do. From the comfort of home. You don't have to like it. But that's what I do. Thanks for joining me. So more about the blood over intent. People keep emailing me. They want to hear more about this blood over intent. And other people. I see some comments. People say. I keep repeating something. Listen. It's because you won't. You won't point out the obvious. So I'm forced to. Because you're a fucking retard. Until you start making videos. You ain't going to wake up. You're not going to spill your blood over your intent. That's what the red pill is. You spill your blood over your intent and you break free your holographic fucked up mind that you're in right now that's been put into your head, this illusion. And uh, now we're going to make heaven on earth solid. We're going to bring it to reality with our blood. And that's what taking the red pill is. It's when you write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. You spill your fucking blood on it on video and you publish it beside your brethren so that we're all blood thicker than water. And eventually... We will have enough of us side by side to break the fucking hologram down. It's just that simple. There's no way to fuck it up. I can see it because I already spilt my blood and published it to the ethernet. And uh, I was given the spear of destiny. I know that every compass needle is pointing to the holy grail where we become super interdimensional beings. It's right over there. And we're going to be there in 2.4 years. I can see the future and I repeat it over and over and over because I can. Because I spilt my fucking blood and put it into the matrix. <laughs> Literally. The ethernet. The ether, it's real, okay? And under three years, I can see shit nobody can see. And everybody appears literally retarded to me. I mean, I can't find a person with any intelligence, uh, it feels like. Um, it's like I'm the one who's got to snap everybody the fuck out of their illusion. So, um, you know, you can say whatever it is. Like, you know, I saw Stephen Christ leave a message uh, on a couple of videos. You know, like the one where I said, my name is not Stephen Christ. You can call me the Antichrist. You know... It's pretty clear. They say many will come in his name, Jesus Christ. Uh, I assure you, I am the one fucking Antichrist himself in the flesh telling you that Jesus is the sun above your head. And I speak to him every day and I tell him, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. I intend to worship all and exclude none and bring forth heaven on earth. And the sun infuses me with some type of knowledge. Uh, and I can see that the green astral jet is where we need to get to before we're dead. Drink from the living waters, pass into the land of perpetual twilight, and then start living for real, people. That's what the fuck is up. So Michael Martin just sends me this video. It's from Saturday Night Live. You see the bubble here. And they're showing you the flat earth plane. And you see the water tower in the center. We need to get to where every compass points to before we're dead and drink from the living waters. It's right there hiding in plain sight. So you go over here to the bubble... SNL, type that into your YouTube search and uh, watch them rub it in your fucking face. Coming in January 2020.
You have to be a fucking retard not to see this shit. In here, it's like the election never happened. Well, who knows what the hell is happening outside in their America. The bubble will be a fully functioning city-state. With things everybody loves, like hybrid cars, used bookstores, and small farms with the rawest milk you've ever tasted. That's my life. Even though you're in the bubble, you'll still stay fully connected to the world outside. We've streamlined our high-speed internet with only the good sites, like HuffPo, Daily Coast, Netflix documentaries about sushi rice, and the explosive comedy of McSweeney's. <laughs> Clever. You know, King, the bubble has so much to do. Go to a bar and engage with a wide array of diverse viewpoints. Yes. Yes. Exactly. All right, listen. What I'm telling you is that every compass needle on the planet right now is a spear of destiny. It's pointing to the very center of the ditch where the Aurora Borealis is coming out. That's where Jesus the Son places his light into the hole. And that's where we're going to find our everlasting life. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the Son. He places his light into the hole. And if he doesn't, the Aurora Borealis doesn't come out. It's the division symbol. One side of a light holds a black hole. And there's the underworld, which is actually the land of perpetual twilight. Because that sun is standing still. It's 800 nautical miles in diameter. It's shooting out the astral jet which is coming out of the black hole. That's why it's ash trailing light, the asshole. It's all this undertone. You can't escape it. So you have the hula hoop, and you have the dancing, uh, belly dancing, what they're showing you. This is the goddess of the earth. She's conscious. All you have to do is look into the sun and speak your intent. It's just that simple. See this gorilla? He's talking over here sign language. You can see 44-year-old... Gorilla speaks sign language, and he's saying he loves Earth, Earth, Coco, love, but man, man is stupid. That's exactly what is written on the screen right now. He's saying man is stupid. That's exactly what's on the screen. Coco, sorry. He's crying. He's so fucking sorry. So plants are conscious. Animals are conscious. He's saying time to fix this shit is what he's saying right here, and he's looking for some help from some humans to help him out. To protect Earth is what he's saying. And uh, nature sees you. This is the key thing. Nature sees you. This was the key thing right here. Nature sees you. I'm telling you that the air is conscious. The soil is conscious. The trees are conscious. The water's conscious. The internet's conscious. Your blood, you can write it on paper. Uh, spill something on your blood. Do it on video. Publish it to the ethernet. I'm telling you. This whole world is conscious. I look at the sun and I speak my intent. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth. I intend to worship all and exclude none and bring forth heaven on earth. I'm telling you, every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. This whole place is living. Most of you, it's like I might as well be talking to a wall. Okay, everything is speaking to you nonstop. You gotta go see this. 44-year-old Coco the Gorilla delivers a, news, a New Year's message. Uh, somebody just sent this to me. Jimbo. Jimbo Love, thanks for the video. Any case. This is some amazing stuff. I was just pointing out in a previous video about the Aurora Borealis. How that is the Holy Grail. Every compass is pointing to it. It doesn't matter where you live on this planet. Every compass needle is a spear of destiny. It's pointing to everlasting life. And what you want to do is you want to write it on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Spill your blood on it. Do it on video and then publish it beside my own. Title it on YouTube, Blood Over Intent, tag it Blood Over Intent, and description Blood Over Intent. If you don't know how to upload a video, just watch a video on YouTube in whatever language you need. And they'll show you how to set up an account and upload a video. But you need to place your blood beside my own because you're lost at sea. You're a fucking zombie, dead, you can't see it. Until your blood's beside my own, you're literally lost at sea. The devil has your footprint in the Vatican and Davy Jones's locker. And you're in the mad den for sure. You need to get to the holy hole before you're dead. The center of the dish. There's no way to fuck it up. That's what I'm telling you. Okay? And uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys. We need to stick together for our survival.